What's going on? Uh, sorry, I haven't been up to a lot recently. Not much has been going on with my bill, but uh, I did get a package in recently and I'm gonna run you through what it is and sort of the issue I'm having. So let's get into it. So as you can see, uh, the bill is pretty much the same as last time I did a check-in, but over here I got some new stuff. You guys saw the bottom bracket um, and my cleat or my cycling shoes that I picked up, but this is what today's video is about. So let's get it open. So this is the Vision NS Track uh, crank sled. Uh, I've, been, I've been messing around with it, uh, just checking it out. It's got a 49 tooth chain ring on it. This thing is an absolute unit. Uh, I can't wait to have it on the bike. It's gonna look sick with the arrow, arrow chain ring and arrow crank. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep 49 on it. Uh, I was gonna do a 49, 17, I think. Um, maybe less. I think maybe 49, 14. Um, but leave a note in the comments. What do you think the best 49 uh, gear ratio is? My train is uh, relatively flat, so I'm not looking for anything too light to spin. Uh, and speed is always a plus uh, when I'm racing. Um, so somewhere in between a technical and a speed would be nice. So yeah, drop a comment below and let me know what you guys think I should do. So the issue I'm running into is that um, the bottom bracket requires the Park Tool BBT29 uh, bottom bracket tool, but all the shops I've been to don't carry it. And obviously, yes, I could order it online, but I would like to support local shops as much as possible. But that just doesn't seem like it's going to happen with this tool. So. Trying to find a shop nearby with it and then having to order it online, that's what's kind of delaying my build a little bit. So once I get that tool, um, I'll be posting a new video about the crank install. Also, if any of you have used this Philwood, Philwood waterproof grease, uh, let me know your thoughts on using it for the bottom bracket. Uh, I've seen people use anti-seize, um, so I'm just wondering if I should use a combination or just go straight with this fill wood stuff. So yeah, leave a comment below um, and let me know your thoughts on what's the best grease to use for bottom brackets. And I think that's all for today. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one once I finally get this tool. See you later.